So it could be the firefighting tool of the future, and it's the work of some Bay Area high school students. KPIX 5's Len Ramirez looks at the invention to predict and prevent fires. Well, Aditya and Sanjana Shah are both seniors here at Monte Vista High School, and both have watched with sadness as wildfires have devastated California. So they put their skills and their creativity to work, building a brand new device that could help predict wildfires. Drone footage from the Santa Cruz Mountain shows the students testing their smart wildfire sensor, which is strapped to a redwood tree behind them. The device uses weather data, cameras, and machine learning technology to help predict where a fire is most likely to occur. It is our generation's purpose in order to use this technology that we have just that we've had since birth in order to solve problems that have been occurring for this for a long, long time. Sanjana and Aditya Shah, who share the same last name but are not related, created the device after brainstorming in their environmental science club at school. I want to solve people's issues by using a product and I really feel deeply touched by the wildfire as it hits so close to home. The sensor collects and transmits weather data, including wind speed, temperature, and humidity. And a built-in camera takes in real-time image of forest fuel sources and analyzes them with machine learning and artificial intelligence to develop patterns that could spell danger. Each of these models will split out a predictive score of the chance of a wildfire happening, first based on only historical weather data, but also based on um, the fuels in that area. There would be many sensors pre-installed throughout forest lands, all sending data to the cloud where it can be downloaded by fire departments to get ahead of a disaster. We would like to approach state governments in, all, in order to use this as part of like a non-profit um, solution. So far, the students say testing has proven the sensor to be 92% accurate. More testing is needed, which will happen as soon as this year's fire season is over. In Cupertino, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.